What is wolf777.com? It's an illegal online betting site that was being operated from Ahmedabad and the enforcement directorate raided them, sealed them and they attached assets worth 3.06 crores. You know, at its heyday, they were doing business worth 170 crores. And this illegal online betting company, what it used to do was it used to siphon the profits from India through various channels and out of India. And this is one of the biggest reasons why this is happening. But more importantly, is betting legal in India? No. But there are, you know, cases that have gone through the system where they said that if there is some skill involved, then it is okay. So there is that grayness. I'm not sure that the ED is attaching the assets because of the legality of the online platform as much as the fact that they were trying to hide the profits by siphoning them through various channels and laundering it outside. Essentially, money laundering is, you know, trying to evade taxes by taking something which essentially if you don't declare, it becomes black. And then you take the black and somehow find a way out of it and out of the country. And then when it, wherever it reaches, it then becomes white. But it will never come here. And, and the tax that would have accrued for that would not be in the coffers of the government. That is the long and short of it. So what are the games that were there? Rami, Teenpati, and, uh, you know, simple things that we normally do. So one could ask the question, what about all the clubs that are there all over India where there is betting going on? Anybody, you know, four friends join in the evening and many people do this thing, play evening, you know, play cards and some of them are bets and you settle the accounts at the end of the day. What's wrong with that? Well, that is something that is personal and you're not looking at huge amounts, right? I mean, typically 5,000, 10,000, maybe maximum and big, big players, Again, that needs to be a diff that will be a different ball game, but that's only in rare cases. Your arm um, card playing that happens amongst friends is not a very big amount. So the more important thing here was this company was using a private app to communicate amongst the players, and the login and passwords were given using that private communication channel. Think of you know something like you know someone takes a signal source code and then they work on it and uh, make some changes in strings and things like that and also there are probably some enhancements they do and, and that's what they are using to communicate more importantly the app appears to be quite sophisticated then one can ask how hard is it to create an app like this well there are many things available or you know open source in the uh, free space it's not really uh, that difficult i mean it'll take some time but it's not impossible so what the government did was actually a laudable thing. However, in my opinion, you have to find a proper way so that people can use these apps and still pay uh, taxes. I'll give you a simple example. When you trade in the stock market, right? As soon as the trade happens, immediately the gains get taxed. Losses, of course, you can't <laughs> take that right away, but the gains get taxed immediately and the government gets its share. So maybe something like that needs to be devised in this case also so that the chances of you know evading taxes and laundering money are reduced to the maximum extent possible i mean these are, these apps are available in other countries look at united kingdom united states and and they are not you know regulating it very heavily it's very light touch so you can take a look at what they have done and then do something similar thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications namaskar Thank you.